The Gamal Murray Review was published in December 2019 and commissioned by the Scottish Rugby Board and Council to propose a new governance model which reflects the fast-changing global sporting and commercial landscape rugby in Scotland now operates in. You, as member clubs, have hopefully had the opportunity to review and discuss their proposals and tonight we'll hear directly from the review's authors who will answer your questions. First, let's hear from them. We started with a clean sheet of paper. Um, we looked at the current organisation um, and thought, well, how can we improve that? How can we develop it? Well, we saw a whole range of people uh, right across the game. And uh, the sort of ground rules were that uh, no minutes were taken. It was non-distributable, so people could really open up. And uh, the number of people and the diverse roles that we saw right across the game gave us a pretty good idea as to the fact that uh, some change was, was necessary here. What we found was that there was a, a, an overwhelming appetite um, for changes to the way it was run, particularly because of the divergence between uh, the club game and the professional game, and that has been firmly addressed in the report. I think for us the key thing was to provide clarity um, and real sense of what the roles and responsibilities were for, for different individuals. So the, the structure we've come up with we think is radical, we think it's pioneering, we think it's progressive but we think above all it's positive for all of Scottish rugby. And, and the key thing I think was the separation of the domestic game from the professional game in terms of how it was run and, and who was involved in the decision making. Well, we looked at uh, other sporting bodies, uh, we looked at uh, other rugby uh, unions as well to see how they were run. And uh, what we've come up with, as Bill says, is pretty radical. Um, but we think it'll work. We think with the right people in the right uh, places here, it'll work extremely well. I think the key thing for the clubs is, is we've basically given the running of the, the club game to a rugby development board. And that Rugby Development Board will have three people from Scottish Rugby, but it'll have six nominated uh, members that come through the clubs. And, and these members will be remunerated for the, for the job that they're doing. Uh, and I think it gives a much closer alignment where the domestic game is really run by the people involved in the domestic game, the community game. So the, it, it, <clears throat> it's basically providing clarity, but we think more direct involvement. At the same time as we're creating a professional performance board, there must be a strong bridge and link between what the clubs are doing and, and what uh, is happening in the, in the professional game. I think I, I would just add one thing uh, that came through pretty strongly here was that out there, if you know what I mean, there was a big misunderstanding of how Scottish rugby was run. And this new structure, I think, clarifies uh, the Rugby Development Board, uh, the Professional Performance Board, that makes things much clearer in terms of uh, how the sport is going to be run for the future. Scottish Rugby stands at a crossroads as the divergence between the club and professional game grows and the operating and governance structures of the organisation and union of member clubs seeks to support the game in the future. We hope tonight can provide relevant background and clarity around the review's proposals. Thank you. <laughs>